Do Mountain Kings? I would love to see MK and Human Mirror. I think it's really good. Now, it can be a little bit cheesy, but you don't need to play this sort of cheese staff interpretation style. But um, you can play Mountain King and hope they don't build an Arcane Tower. And if they don't build an Arcane Tower, you creep level 3 MK, you staff into their base. You just win the game right there. Which in two base, two base is common to maybe skip the Arcane. Hawk isn't. Inspired has, currently at least. I do like Mountain King and Human Mirror. I think it's cool. Attack. I think it's very cool, very neat. Hold the lap. Looking for uh, Robo the Magi. That is the best item you can get here. If you don't want to see Belt, Boots of Both Loss, stuff like that. And there's Boots of Both Loss for Inspired. And Rune Bracers is going to be good later on, bad right now. So then neither player is going to really have... In fact, Inspired is a better item for right now. Town is under siege. But the experience is important as well. And they'll both hit level 2. Inspired's tower timing is actually a lot better than Hawk's. A player's forces are under Hawk didn't really need to build his that early. I suppose they're both upgrading it at the same time. Hawk just built his a lot earlier. I think by definition it's just a little less efficient. But still, look at their resources. Pretty much the same. And Merc Camp. Holds the Priest. The Hawk is going for an expansion, but Inspired is going for Mercs, and he's also going to have earlier level 3. They're both going to be level 3 pretty much when they see each other, but Inspired will be a tad bit earlier. And Inspired will have a consumable, possibly a Scroll of the Beast, one of mana stealing, greater mana, something like that. If he gets the Berserker as well, there it is. This could be a lot of pressure towards the expansion that's already been scouted by Inspired. Hawk needs to hope for a really good item, and Talisman Evasion is not a good item. What does Inspired get? Could be a game-winning item. Push of Vulnerability, not going to just win you the game flat out. A Scroll of the Beast or Greater Mana might have. Let's see, Hawk has to defend this pressure. Boy, I like this Footman. Eventually it's going to kill the farm. There's not really anything you can do about it, short of calling a Militia to fight it. Let's see, Boots of Speed or Staff of Teleportation. Sells the involved, buys Boots and a Circlet. There it is. This should be very tough on paper for Hawk. Very, very tough. Please don't creep that. Okay. Yes, it goes towards the expansion. Tower coming up. Inspire gets Defend as well. And look at the timing on the Defend. Militia being called, Hawk realizing he could be in trouble, but the positioning not great on these mercenaries especially. The priest could be going down here. Power will not be cancelled. Oh, maybe it will be. Oh, very close. He actually does cancel. I think he could have kept it up. And once it had the armor from being finished, it probably would have been repairable. Tier 2 coming up for Inspired. Hawk getting to defend himself. It looks like he's going to commit to the expansion still. He kind of has to stage. Fired kept everything alive except for one footman. He can re-aggress soon. Second priest available. Look at my timing. How good I am I at this? Oh my god. It doesn't get any better. Ooh, he's gonna creep this as well. Love this choice for Inspired. But Hawk right on it. Is it a good use of the footy? Well, it forces two militia to be called. <laughs> And there's no way of healing up the footman short of having a priest, so not really much more it can do. It could scout, but it kind of is scouting right now, too, at the same time. So very important that Hawk stop that Merc Camp creep. That, I know I already said game could be over with the first Merc Camp, but that probably certainly would have sealed the deal. It would have been almost level 4 Archmage, another consumable, so another chance for something like a Scroll of the Beast. And more Mercs, like another Berserker, another Priest. I don't think Hawk would have been able to defend had Inspired crept that entire Merc camp. Mana advantage or Inspired currently. Gonna have the Water Elemental earlier, which means this tower is cancelled. Especially with that Berserker. Oh, this is tough for Hawk right now. If he can stabilize, he's gonna be in a decent position, but the Tier 2 is almost done. That's gonna be a Panda right off the rip for Inspired. 
Oh, surround? Not often does Hawk go for surrounds. That just shows how desperate the situation is right now. Love this footman chasing around the Archmage. Tier 2. This footman should go back, or at least this one should go towards the tavern. Immediate panda at tier 2. I'd love to see that. This hawk's not going to be able to deal with the pressure. Or, I mean, no. I was going to say alchemist. That would be too crazy, wouldn't it? Better for Hawk. A player's forces are under attack. That one, we're inspired. He is going back for the panda with his footman, I think. Would be very, yeah. There's the panda. Would be very surprised. If I was going to say to see a mountain king, but we do not. Power again, being jumped on, and with the piercing in the zeppelin, he's going to be able to cancel it. on the way also. Hawk is finally attacking, but here's the panda. Oh my lord. And there should be nothing lost because of the zeppelin. Level 4 arc mage. This is just game. There's just really nothing to be done here. He can call militia Hawk because he has the shredder at home, but... What are you supposed to do? Taking so many losses. This panda's going to be level 3 before Hawk's even tier 2. And it's going to be level 3 off pure peasant kills. Okay, this, this Zeppelin could be dropping some units. Level 2 panda. Gonna try to get cancels on these towers most likely. Can you drop a berserker there? Zeppelin, micro, micro. Oh no, he loses the berserker. Fire Zeppelin, micro. Not as good as Grubby's, as it turns out. Grubby. But it's good enough to probably have won this game. What was the macro like at home? He's got two sanctums. I think you just get out now. Don't risk losing that Zeppelin with everything in it. Okay, Hawk. Arguably, arguably stabilized right now. But I think what Inspired should do is creep Panda 3 and just counter Expo. All Militia, creep this with Panda Solo. Yeah, he's got two towers. I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Right? Call the militia. Got the resources. A player's forces are under attack. Hawk probably aware of this maneuver though. I think it would be a mistake for Inspire to continue bashing his head against the expansion. I think you just counter expand. Oh, TP's gonna be forced. He's going to go towards the expansion again. Mountain King on the way. Double Sanctum and plus one attack already. Soon enough, Hawk's going to have the better army. Is it time for your annual ladder stream? I did do a speedrun stream this week, but the ladder, I'm not sure. I played some 4v4 yesterday with Hitman. It was fun. Kind of. It wasn't awful. As awful as 4v4 normally is. Mountain King's here. This is all in for Inspired, though. If he doesn't break this, Hawk's army is going to be way better. Should be uh, attacking that Archmage with his Archmage. I do think. I do declare. This is probably the last of the militia for Hawk. But he's replacing it with Breakers now. His towers on their way up, but could be cancelled. Hawk kind of realize that now. That's his one. And that's the Arcane Tower. 
up against this guard tower. Five arc mage. Three versus forty-three breakers coming out. More towers being built. The shop is helping out a lot right now for Hawk. Not to mention those three towers as well. If Inspired has to back away, I don't think he's gonna win this game. He could have still done this and expanded, actually come to think of it. But he's all in. Zone Ellie was attacking his panda. Oh, the good old not right clicking to attack instead using A to attack. I do that. I do that, and I have I have killed my own Torn Chieftain before mid fight by accident. These level 3 water elementals are ridiculous, and panda now 3 as well. Here's the breath. Ocean Forest. Inspired diving on top. In range of the towers because he realizes everything is so hurt. Hawk might need to buy a TP and get out of here. Oh, again, surround. Oh, he forces the TP. I think with that, Hawk might win this game. Fired. Are you just going to go again? All's militia. Plaza even. Hawk has plus two attack on the way. The heroes have to win it for Inspired. That is the advantage that he has. Finally sells those boosts of Cold Floss. A player's forces are under attack. Evil Hawk aggressively creeping. Just all his priests get caught out. Every priest is dead. Oh, maybe not actually. That was a lie. to level one. Hot kind of creep a little bit. No reason not to. He's got the TP. He's going to have to use it anyway. Healy doesn't want to lose the shop. Does he have another shop? No, he doesn't. If he loses this, he actually can't build breakers any longer. Inspired. Not going to commit that hard for it, though. Shredder comes in. Good against breakers. like Hawk has not gotten a, as far ahead in supplies as I thought he might. These priests are all AFK. They're not even in range of aura right now, these priests. That one's paid off at this point. Forty-six versus fifty-three, inspired. Keeping the supply advantage. He's getting a huge hero level advantage, of course. Panda's on his way to four. The Archmage is on his way to six. And these towers are going to get up this time. Slow actually being used tastefully, which is nice. Ox should probably rebuild the shop in his main base right now. I suppose this scores from other matches. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Mountain King, is there a potion available? This priest heal. Ooh. Saves it. For now, but he runs back in and again, tastefully using slow to get the Mountain King kill there. This is gonna be 1 0. He needs Blizzard, that would not be a bad call at all. Level 3 Blizzard is insane. 9 versus 54, still. Hawk holding on. Barely. There goes the shot. But he's already rebuilt it. Love that. I'm going back in 45 seconds. And a level 2 Drunken Brawler is nice. Dodging feedback hits from breakers and also critting breakers. Pretty wicked. He's playing random as 1 0 for Sheik. Okay. Alright. Wonder if Dice will continue to play random. He 
Solo XP for the Archmage means he gets to level 5 during this. Mountain King's back in 5 seconds. Aka's doing a really good job holding on. Look at the supply, everybody. Look at the supply. If he continues to hold and not, it doesn't lose everything, he's going to have enough supply to just win. Sixty-eight versus forty-nine. I mean, it seems like Inspired has been winning the whole game, but I mean, look at the supply now. Hawk might have held long enough. Push vulnerability right before the storm bolt. Didn't dodge it, but who cares if you dodge it? There's infinite mana anyway. Yeah, Hawk. I think Hawk's done it, dude. Oh my god. He had two opportunities inspired to counter expand. Both would have put him ahead. But he kept bashing his head against the expansion. These are about to be 2 2 breakers. Archmage needs 8 kill to get level 6, and then he might be able to get out of here. This needs one kill, but GG is called Hawk wins! All right, 1-0 for Hawk. Wow, Inspired. You cannot be closer to winning than that, really. Truly, truly cannot be. And that's 1-0. doesn't want to attack the main in these situations typically there's a better base build in the main which makes it harder to attack typically the shop is in the main base there's already an arcane tower for sure in the main base and militia is closer and there's more peasants to call as militia there in general and earlier reinforcements because both the sanctums were in the main base there's a lot of reasons autumn leaves is going to be map number two but adding some mortar be good. Not typically, because it's just too slow. Getting a workshop and getting mortar teams. And you know, you often have to would have to break up keep to get mortar teams, which means you wouldn't be able to afford a lot of them on one base. He do such a big deal, yeah. Hawk doesn't often surround, but when he does, it wins him games. Team number two. Here we go. Hawk bottom left, upper right is inspired. Wondering what the creep routes will be. Shop first into green, into expansion for Hawk. Probably similar for Inspired, if I had to guess, right? Note, Mercenary Camp still here. The Berserker and Priest had a big impact last game, but there's only one of them on Autumn Leaves. And it's not going to be a situation where you creep the, the Mercenary Camp often. Countries Inspired from Uzbekistan is this flag. Lucy random is 1-1 one, one versus Happy? Oh my god. It's a shame we didn't watch that. What race did he get when he beat Happy? Was it human? That is wild. That is so wild. It was on Twisted Meadows. I don't know what race he got, though. I can't see. I cannot see. That is awesome. Archmage versus Archmage. Bet? Yeah, we can do some predictions for the next series. We on this for the Dream Final? True. I like me some Human versus Undead. We're definitely going to see in the grand final probably because it's all undeads on the bottom side and all 
and all humans in the upper side, really. The winner of this, by the way, will be playing Leon. Chances are, though, since we're watching Human Mirror right now, we'll probably jump back down and watch the other players in the semifinal. The Orc games today. Was there even an Orc player in the entire tournament? I don't... Was Ragnarok an Orc player? No, he's human, isn't he? I don't know if a human player even played today. Or uh, rather, an Orc player even played today. Shop creep. Hawk actually faster. Bought circlet, found claws. Inspired. Found a ring, didn't buy the circlet. If Hawk gets another claws right now, he has won the game already. I love watching Orcs. Yeah, me too, my dude. Me too. He gets a ring. The game is not over. The items could be even now if Inspired buys a circlet and finds a claws. We'll all be even in the world. Love say it's not bad. Still needs to buy that circle. A fourth farm and fourth farm. Both players are going to go for an expansion. Are under attack. Actually, six militia. Surprised by that. Oh, because he's creeping at the same time. Oh, this is not an expansion from Inspired. It's just a level 3 creep route. Doesn't buy the circlet still. Yeah, tax. Archmage steals a slippers away. Imagine if he got double mantle. Oh my god. He gets a double slippers. Are under and neither player expanding. Both players four farm, one base. Here we go. This game could get wacky if one player decides to not town portal, or if both players rather decide to not town portal. Items play a huge town impact. Play a huge impact? Sure, that works. What does Circlet do for an Archmage? More attack speed, more health, more mana, more damage, more mana and health regeneration, more armor. Hey, there's an orc player from here. What's up, up TSR? This game could get wacky, everybody. Get ready for it. So far, one militia down for Inspired. Hawk not committing the militia in, which I think is wise. Just lose the altar. Who cares? So it's plus two to every stat. Which gives you lots. Especially the earlier you buy it, you have to imagine you buy a circuit early on in the game. From that point on, every attack, for instance, not to mention the other things it gives you, every attack is two more damage. That adds up over the game. So the longer you have the circlet for, the more value you've gotten. So every auto attack that Hawk gets in this entire game, because he bought it immediately, is two. So there's an extra two. An extra two. So it might... It, you know, if this game goes for 20 minutes, this circlet will be about, you know, three, 4,000 extra damage for 175 gold because of how early he bought it. Not to mention the extra mana regen, which means extra water elementals, stuff like that. It's so good for the amount of gold you spent. That's also true, Pitcher. So, the mistake Inspired made, which is, I think, losing in this game, is he committed his militia. Hawk didn't. He just said, kill my altar. I don't care. And now look. Look how stable Hawk still is. He's like, oh, I'll just rebuild my altar. Whatever. But, worth noting, Hawk has no footmen left. <laughs> Inspired has no workers. Hawk has no footmen and a tinker. Second, was this a speed run? Inspired has to get damage done right now, though. Because <laughs> Hawk, Hawk has no units. He's just got an Archmage. And Inspired clean up these peasants. The game's not entirely over. But Inspired is pretty much all in. Thank you, Hitman. I appreciate that. Wouldn't something like a Dark Ranger been, have been better? Or even just a Panda? Alchemist? Naga? 
I think all those things would have been better than a tanker, I'll be honest with you guys. Mountain King on the way. In love with DR. DR is a pretty good hero in certain situations. When it's good, it's really good. A player's forces are under attack. It's almost going to be mining gold again soon. Pitlord, I don't know if Pitlord would be good here, but I'm not a huge fan of Pitlord in general, so. A town is under siege. I mean, Hawk's still taking damage. Oh, the surround, though. And Mountain King's out. TP Force. And Inspired didn't do enough damage. Yeah, GG is called. Hawk played that very, very well. Very experienced in those situations, obviously. Common to have that in Human Mirror. Base is 1 1 versus Sheik. So both quarterfinals on the bottom side of the bracket are in game three. The This semifinal is starting, which is going to be Hawk versus Leon. But I think we wait for the other semifinal. I think we wait for it. What do you guys think?